Good morning, Explorers Preschoolers. Mrs. Becker's down here at Timbernook today. I thought I would come down to the Timbernook classroom and do a lesson down here. So I packed up my backpack full of stuff and we're ready to go. Are you guys excited to see what, we, what we're gonna talk about today? Okay, let's see. So, just so you guys know, Mrs. Becker did not pick this out of a tree. She did not hurt the bird that lived in here. You know what this silly bird does? This silly bird always makes a bird's nest on Mrs. Becker and Mr. Mr. Becker's boat. So we have to, we wait for the bird's eggs to hatch and for her to come out and then Mrs. Becker takes it off the boat and then we put the boat in the water. So this birdie used some little sticks and some grass and she also used something else that she found that's maybe not the best for birdies. Do you see what she found? She found a piece of ribbon and used that in her bird's nest. So that's why it's really important for us to pick up the garbage off the ground because we don't want birds to be um, using that for their bird's nest. They're supposed to be using um, sticks and twigs. And on the inside, friends, I can see that the bird picked up tiny little pieces of mud and used that to make her bird's nest really, really hard. And you can also, oh, you can also see on the bottom, they've got some hard mud in there. So friends, this is a real bird's nest that birds really made. But do not worry, Mrs. Becker did not hurt them. Like I said, it was just sitting there. And so I just took it off the boat once the eggs were all gone. But today, Mrs. Becker wanted to share with you something she loved to do as a kid. As a kid, Mrs. Becker loved, absolutely loved, it was her favorite thing. When the grass was cut, all the long grass clippings were there. I would take them and I'd put them into a pile and I'd make a little bird's nest and I'd pretend that birds were in there. So I want to encourage you guys to go outside and maybe find some twigs or sticks and break them. You gotta have muscles. Oh, Mrs. Becker has no muscles today. Oh, break your twigs and sticks, break them into littler pieces, and also try and find some grass. Now Mrs. Becker's out at Timbernook, so she has really long grass, so I'm gonna break it as well. Or you could just get the grass when Daddy and Mommy cut the grass, and you can use that grass clippings. And let's see if we can make some bird's nests. So I'm just gonna turn around the camera so you guys can see what Mrs. Becker is up to in her bird nest making. I'm so excited to share this with you. So Mrs. Becker has some of that long grass. She's gonna take that long grass and pile it on the ground. And then she also has some of those twigs that she broke. And I'm gonna break some more and we're going to use them to make a bird's nest shape. So here's lots of twigs and grass. I'm gonna pile them all up and try and make a shape. And you know what else, what else I have lots of, friends? I have lots of leaves. So maybe I'm gonna add some leaves in there and some more twigs. And do you see how slowly I am getting the shape of a bird's nest? So you can definitely keep building and building just like the real birds do by adding more and more sticks and branches and grass, whatever you have. There's no right or wrong way to build a bird's nest. So there's a bird's nest. And then I always like to pretend that big sticks are birdies or I can just even use my imagination. While I've got the camera this way, I'm gonna show you a closer up shot of the real bird's nest. So here you can see this bird really worked hard and look at how hard that mud is in there. They really worked hard and look at all of the twigs and the grass. This bird really liked the grass, didn't he or she? And there's another idea for you guys to get outside and build a bird's nest today. Hi, today Mrs. Becker is going to tell you a story using a piece of paper, some scissors, and a marker. Are you guys ready to hear the story? Once upon a time there was a mama bird and a dada bird, daddy bird, and they wanted to build a nest. So they worked together really hard and I'm going to use my scissors and help them build their nest. They built a beautiful nest out of sticks and twigs and grass. And look at the beautiful nest. There it is. And Mama Bird sat in that nest. Sat in that nest. And when she got up, she had an egg. Does she have an egg? 
and it was the mama bird's job to sit on that egg. So the mama bird sat on that egg when it was raining. That mama bird sat on that egg when it was blowing. That mama bird had to sit and sit and sit on that egg. Well, the mama bird got a little bit lonely sitting in her nest with that egg, but guess what happened? Along came a tiny little bug. Look, is that a bug? That bug's name was Fred. Fred said, why, hello, mama bird. What are you doing sitting in your nest? And mama bird said, I am waiting for my egg to crack. And I'm waiting and I have to sit here and wait and I have to be very, very patient. Well, the little bug said, do you mind if I sit and wait with you? Sure, said the mama bird. The mama bird. Oh, and then all of a sudden she heard a sound. She heard a crack. <gasps> there was a crack in the egg. Oh my goodness, said Mama Bird, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And then, you know what else? Then there was another crack, 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 crack. And another crack, oh my goodness. And the Mama Bird jumped out of the nest. And do you believe what she saw? Out of the nest was a, who is this? Oh, is it a little bird in the nest? Let's give the little bird another little eye. And there was her baby chick. Look at her baby chick. Hmm. I wonder if I can't get this chick. There we go. And out of the nest came her baby chick. Sing cheep, 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 cheep. And Mama Bird and Daddy Bird were both so happy. The end. There. The end. So preschoolers, because we're talking about birds and birds' nests, I thought we would go through a little walk in the woods and see if we can spy any birds. So I have my magnifying glass. I'm ready to go, but I also have my, who remembers what these are? Binoculars! So we're gonna go see if we can find some birds. Right now I'm not hearing any, but let's see if we can find them together. Can you hear the crunching of the leaves under my feet? Wondering if we can find any birds. Probably because Mrs. Becker is down here. I've scared them all away. But where do you so preschoolers? I found something on the ground. I wonder if you can help me. Let's use our detective skills and figure out do we think this is a bird's nest? What do we think, friends? Do we think a bird built this? No, Mrs. Becker, I think that kids built this. That has really big sticks. I don't think that was a bird. Let's keep looking. So preschoolers here at Timbernook, I think I just found evidence of a bird's nest. This was a very big bird that was in this tree. Do we see how big the branches are? So he would have had to have been very big and strong to lift all of those branches. I don't think he is in there right now. I think this is an old nest, but he was in this tree at one point. Should we keep looking to see if we can spy more birds' nests? Okay, let's go. Okay, friends, I've been walking and looking around at the ground and look what I found. We found a clue. What do you think this is from? Is that from a bird? That's right. Let's keep looking to see if we can find where they are today. What do we think about this pile in the ground, preschoolers? Do we think it was birds? No, I think it was kids out at Timbernook making a pile. What do you guys think? Explorers, preschoolers, if you listen closely, we can hear a few birds in the trees. Thanks for coming with me to look for nests here at Timbernook. I'm so glad that we found some nests and we could hear some birds. Have a wonderful day and we'll talk soon.